through, step over, okay? Over and point it this way, hand goes through, and as I roll, I grab that knee, okay? And as, as I come through, I'm gonna place that hand right there on the back of my knee. Use his leg to add pressure to Mike's head as he rolls him. Okay, so watch. So he's got his tie up there. See the leg there, and there's the coach. And it's a good, quick tap out at the roll. So let's watch. Look at the setup. So he gets us, gets loops in. Now again, time out here. Left hand is the strangle hand. Okay, and the lapel. Right leg is hooking Mike's left arm. Okay, so he's got the whole shoulder tied up there. Now notice here he's trapping here because he wants to get Mike's arm tucked in out of the way, kind of, and that helps Derek roll. And also, that gives him some space around here so he's gonna kick his leg over. So everybody, just watch how he just rolls over his right. shoulder and watch how he uses that leg, that left leg. So it's important how he digs that left foot in there. He's gotta create a hole there, a space, to get his, his leg in there. So when he does that, he hooks in, and watch, he traps down. Now say he's created space there now, in this case, his right leg, He's going to be over Mike's head. He's going to go over the opposite shoulder. So if your right leg is the leg that's over the head, you roll over your left shoulder. All you're going to roll over the opposite shoulder, so that puts you, you're staying around it. Yeah. Okay? And it's, if it's easier, to think about like rolling towards his, his butt. The first time you do it, you're going to be like, I can't go that way. But it, it opens your hips more, so it makes stepping over a lot easier. Do move that. So once I'm through here, see how I'm still pointing that way? If I'm really bendy, I can do it this way and still roll over this, this shoulder more sideways like we were doing before. But once the foot comes over, it's a lot easier to stay this way. And then just push up both feet. And you're using that leg, you're using that leg to really push against Mike's head all the way over to finish. And really, he's trapped. You're, you're strangling with his lapel, you're pushing with your leg, and it hurts like hell. That's why they call it the hell choke. And he meant that slap. Is that it? It's tight. Okay. So you saw that. Let's, let's practice. Okay. That's, that's a nice rolling Jigoku Jume, is what we would call it. All right. So, what we're going to do is we're going to focus on two things kind of add a little bit more oomph to the choke. And the first one is really trying to point yourself towards his butt or his belt. Um, it's, again, it's a little bit different than what we were doing before, but because of everybody's flexibility, it's a lot easier to get when you're pointed that way. It also allows more of a whip. And then the second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna brace in the back of our knee, almost like you're doing a kata hajime with your, your knee. Okay, so once I, I step through here like this, as soon as I get that leg, I'm gonna point this way, in his back corner. And then it's a super easy step over. If I'm still pointed here, you know, I can get this, but as soon as I roll over, it usually twists my leg out this way, and then it becomes hard to actually use your leg to push on the choke. So we keep pointed that way, and then as I reach under, I'm gonna start rolling. Some of you guys like to, to reach under as you roll, I like to go before. Just get your hand down there so that as I come through, I'm gonna place that hand right there on the back of my knee. And that adds that just little extra boom. Number one, the forearm pulls his shoulder back, which tightens the knee, and it keeps his hand from being able to defend very well. And then my hand can push my knee even harder into the choke. And if it's slightly off, I can kind of pull it back in if I really have to. But it also reminds you that you need to be in nice and tight here. And this isn't a super bendy move. I mean, my legs aren't triangle together or anything because I'm pointed at his butt this way. If I let go of him, it's basically like I'm just going like this. And I think everybody in here can do this. If I do it the other way, then it becomes more like this. And it, it depends on how bendy you are with, with your knees. So don't make it a bendy thing. Just shift so that we're in here like this. 
Okay. Can you do that again, Derek, to demo? Through, step over, okay? Over and point it this way, hand goes through, and as I roll, I grab that knee, okay? So it, it might look a little bit like, oh man, he's just like twisted all over the place. That's a contortionist move. But because I'm shifted towards his butt and not his head and shoulders, it's no longer a bendy move. You just have to be able to go like this. And that's it. That's really all you need. And the back hand comes up right there. And that creates a real compact roll, which is what you want. Yeah. Very, very controlled. Tad the roll, the, the easier it is. You, it, you have to start thinking of it a little bit like you're rolling Kata Hajime. It's the same kind of principle. If you can start that, that choking action as you roll, then you get all that centrifugal force adding to it. That's when you get the tap before you even roll over. Make sense? Give it a try.